So according to the World Health Organization, at least 1.5 million people undergo limb amputation every year. In Kenya, the causes of amputation include road accidents and diabetes. This means the number of people who need prosthesis in the country is increasing. To address this, a local venture is now leveraging on artificial intelligence to produce 3D prosthetic limbs, which are not only cheaper, but also lighter, durable, and time conscious. Edward Chwea tells us more on this week's edition of Made in Kenya. Made in Kenya, brought to you by Equity. Keep your business running with one Equity till number. With your one Equity till number, you now qualify for a merchant loan. Simply dial star 247 hash from any mobile network and follow the simple steps to apply. Florian Valais was on a trip to Kinshasa, Congo, when he saw amputees sitting on the floor and others in the mud. Touched by their plight, he embarked on finding a solution for them. So we did a bit of research and we noticed that actually um, the technology hasn't changed in maybe 50 to 70 years. Um, so we're like, whoa, what's going on here? Um, and that's when we started looking into new technologies like 3D printing to see how we could make it more affordable, always while keeping the highest quality. Leveraging on his knowledge of artificial intelligence, Vala has returned to Kenya and founded Ugan Prosthetics, a venture making affordable prosthesis and orthosis using 3D printing technology. We start with a 3D scan of a patient. We use a smartphone, which costs $300. So it's my phone. Uh, I can go anywhere in the country with my phone in my pocket and I can just scan a patient. So we open the application here, I press scan, and so here you can see that now it is detecting my arm, okay? So when I press play here, it's like a video, I am starting to take a 3D scan of my hand. We will put the 3D model on the computer and we will add and remove some pressure area. We create a 3D file, which we then feed into these machines. So these are 3D printers. You can see that the 3D printer, it will just layer by layer add until the whole thing starts building up from the bottom. We will take the 3D printed socket, which is the, conne the part connecting to your body, and we will add these lower parts um, to get the full prosthetic. Valle says the new technology helps to produce prosthesis faster and they are cheaper and more effective compared to the traditional ones. So far, they have manufactured prosthesis for 12 patients. We hope before the end of the year uh, to have up to 1,000 patients that will have helped with this technology. We're able to get a patient fitted in a couple of days instead of a couple of weeks. Um, and then, yeah, as I already mentioned, the cost is ridiculously low in comparison with other technologies. Even so, Diambo is one of the patients benefiting from this technology. In a accident, 205. Na nikaweza kupoteza mbu yangu wa right leg. Mi nikuwa mwana sporti tangu hata kabla nipata jali. So nikakuja nikengia kwa sports za Paralympian. Na nisaidia at least kumuvo around. Enyewe hii mbu kupata ni, ni beigani. Na unajua kwa tu kama sisi pesa sa zingine na kuanga shida. Tunashukuru. To ensure high-quality prosthesis, Ugani has teamed up with Stratas Imaging, who do thorough checks before the artificial limbs are manufactured. The challenge in the past is that producing a prosthetic has been very expensive. So a prosthetic that used to cost 350,000 shillings now can come for less than 100,000. So it is uh, improving speed of production and access which is very important for our country. Despite this breakthrough, Valais says the biggest challenge with this technology is the size of the 3D printer, which can only accommodate a limited size. A very simple limitation is the size of the 3D printer. Um, so if I, for example, need a corset, so something around my torso, I'm too big, I don't fit. Um, and so those kind of things, we can only do them for babies. I like being in Kenya, it's a nice place to live. Um, and then from a socioeconomic perspective, it's a nice place to start business. Edward Chwea, Made in Kenya, Citizen TV. Made in Kenya, brought to you by Equity. And the Leza Biashara na one equity till number. Get an instant merchant loan to restock or finance your business straight from your phone. Simply dial star 247 hash from 